They are in pretty dire shape. Um, uh, been your last healing surge in plus seven. Evanthrax is at 1675. Seven plus my surge value or just the seven? Seven plus surge. Seven plus surge and deduct your last surge. I think that's your last one, isn't it? Yes, it is, and I'm no longer bloodied. Okay, I will take that from you. Sorry, Paladin. All right. Oh, well, that's gotta, fine. We, we gotta survive, man. I'll, I'll try and heal you up afterwards if we need to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my movement action to stand up on this goblin here. Uh, that is my movement. Uh, I will get a clear shot. Um, I will get a clear shot at the at the mage. Uh, so I will go ahead and I will take that. Uh, 22 versus armor class. It's a hit. Uh, you take a total of nine damage from the arrow. That's it for him. Uh, let's see. Next up is the bugbear. Uh, the bugbear does move up, uh, cause some movement. Actually, yeah. Where's that other skeleton at? I knocked him into the fire. Come out of the way into the fire. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. All right. So one, two, three, four, uh, and I'm attacking the cleric with the bugbear. Say target if the target has no allies. He's got an alright, you have an ally adjacent to you, so he does not get a bonus to hit. Alright. Uh, he does attack. Oh, wow, this is gonna hurt if it hits. Uh, 18 versus armor class. Um. It's a tie. Okay, that's a hit. 2d8 plus 6. Oh, you take a total of 19 damage. Shit. You get hit by this, this axe that he has. That has like a uh, a red type of blood dripping off of the blade. I'm very ready. Okay. Do y'all have uh, health potions still on you? Yeah. Okay, Google Ken. 150, 250, 350. Okay, sounds good. I will do that. All right, so uh, the viewers have decided to come together and buy everyone a uh, boon. Let's see. It looks like they're going to buy you a uh, replenishment from the heavens for two healing surges. So everyone gets back two healing surges worth of heals. Uh, that means that the two people that are down, uh, you start to come to dirt, and it basically, uh, it's going to knock the bugbear back one, because it, it has to be an adjacent square, and the closest adjacent square uh, is north of you. So, there you go. All right, so you can thank. Uh, let's see. Thanks, guys. We needed that. <laughs> Grugelkin chipped in 150. Uh, I'm laughing to death 
for 100 and frack for 100 as well so they chipped in and bought you guys the two surge heal so that's it guys i mean we have this is the first time we've ever used mine you know my gift the viewer's gift and your guys's gift in the same game that is a uh, that's a lot so you guys everyone gets back a uh, two surges worth and you guys can take the the squares off of you as well you're you're still going to be prone both of you are going to be prone I mean so. this is a pretty epic battle that we ended up with we this essentially is. ended up with both sides of the hallway alright so you guys are now prone uh, I have a you guys are starting to come to uh, you feel like you've been rejuvenated from the heavens uh, let's see I'm dead so Amon you're up now Okay. Um, I need to start deducting some of these points. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna attack the bugbear this time. You guys got to get those bloody targets on. Just giving you a little pointer. Come on, man. <laughs> Kill something. <laughs> All right, I'll go after. I'm gonna try to finish off the abomination. A little, little friendly DM advice. You guys need to start gangbanging stuff seriously. You guys are out of get out of jail card freeze. Nice shot. All right. So what did you attack? That was the abomination. All right. So you hit the abomination for how much? Twelve. All right. As you your third arrow splits the last two arrows that you hit, the abomination falls over dead. Hey, Dave, yeah. I'm not ready. He had 11 hit points. You hit him for 12 Sweet. and killed him. I'm no longer bloody. All right. Reach down yeah, and grab my junk, and I said, yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Just letting you know, you guys got if you guys got bloody targets, that's what you need to get down, because that's just less attacks that are going against you guys. I am bloody, Dave. Okay. You, you are bloodied? Okay. Oh, yeah. I was dead and only got two surges, so, yeah, I'm bloodied. Are you, uh, yeah, you're bloody too as well. They both should be. Yeah. There's two surges that would bring you yep. if you were dead. Alright, so Kevward, uh, what are you doing, Mr. Kevward? Alright, so I've got mine. Not quite sure. Sin uh. Shadow, thank you for the follow. Uh, X Sin X Shadow, thank you very much, Sin Shadow. Welcome to the community. Prone. Can I walk on top of them? <laughs> I like this. I love this. I'll let thought. I'll let you walk on top of them. Sure, you can. I mean, you can. Yeah, you can slide up there if you want, or you can walk up, or. or walk. Okay, I'm gonna shift up. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my one power you gave us and cast Burning Hands. Yes! <clears throat> That's why I wanted to know if I could walk on them, because if I couldn't, then I would force it to do damage to well, them. Well, yeah, uh, you, can, you can do that. Uh, but when he moves, you're basically gonna be knocked back to an adjacent yeah, okay. square, so. That's excellent. <laughs> That's fine, my right. So go ahead and do attack rolls on the skeleton, starting with the skeleton. Uh, 11 versus reflex. That is a miss. Bugbear. Uh, miss on the bugbear. Next up is the... Uh, what is it? A 5x5. Five five. So yeah, you will hit the the two in the back as well. So go ahead and do the, the prone goblin. Uh, 16, that's a hit, and the last goblin. Go ahead and do a attack. 19 is also a hit. So go ahead and do one damage roll, and we'll do the damages on these guys. What a, what a thing to do. Hit a goblin when he's prone. Jerk. 
screw that guy. Wow. So the miss. Miss is half damage. Half damage. Okay. The skeleton uh, crumbles into a fiery pile of bone. The bugbear is now officially bloodied. Whoa. As he is on fire. I hate burning hands. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I like burning hands. That is, do you know how many times you, uh, that is saving your guys' ass? <laughs> this would make three, the third three in a row. Times. <laughs> three times. And on the, the back, those were hit for full damage. So both of these, uh, both of these goblins that just shook the fire damage off of them yeah. Yeah. basically get involved, engulfed in a fiery inferno, and both of them fall over dead. They they're kind of just patting themselves down. Oh, oh, thank God we're done. They look up. Oh, shit! Wow. Yeah, they just got out of that other fire. They start saying shit, and all of a sudden, it just flow just gulps them. Nice one, dude. Well, so all you've got left is is the bugbear. No, and the skeleton up top. Yeah, but he's burning to death. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He does. Go ahead and give me an attack roll on him as well. Uh, I, does it, would, it reach you? Uh, reach. What is it, a five? One, two... Yeah, five. So no. it's just outside of it. Just outside. You're one square short. But he is. he's still prone in that fire. All right, more guess. Uh, you are... You're free to get up. But if you get up, you will take an attack of opportunity. So I ain't getting nothing. I'm going to reach into my backpack and pull out a uh, healing potion and slug it. Okay, go ahead and deduct it from your character sheet. That's your minor minor. You're able to do it inconspicuously to where the bugbear doesn't notice you doing that. So, uh, Are you still bloodied or are you not bloodied now? Uh, I'm still bloodied, but I'm oh a lot better gosh. off than I was. All right. Wow. All right, so the zombie is dead. The skeleton is dead. This goblin is dead. Oh, there's our, our skeletal friend up here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use a movement to stand up. I will also go ahead and double move it and haul ass out of this. One, two... Gets knocked prone. He is prone. His skeletons are dumb, man. I mean, he gets knocked down. The bones rattle. He gets back up. He runs up. The bones rattle again. And now you see him in a pile again. And it looks like he's trying to stand back up. So, Would he take five for go. moving into this spot? No. No. It's just a, okay. a prone effect. We should nickname him Bones. I'm nicknaming him Dead next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is it for Bones. Uh, Caladrin, what are you doing? You are, uh, are you gonna, you're starting to get up or no? I'm going to do a minor, minor, minor. Okay. I'm going to do one minor to pull out a potion, I'm going to drink it, and then I'm going to use the other miner to activate my um, Defender Aurora. Okay. Miner, miner, miner. Can that, can that work while you're prone? 3M. Sure, why not? It's it's in a cube. It's in like a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. So. Would he be able well, it's to in a burst the one. opportunity attack, though? Or the immediate interrupt? Yeah, no. but he'd get a minus. Yeah, if you're prone. You get it. You get a, a negative to attack Sweet. if you're prone. That is a cool right. ability. So yeah, it's it's a burst of one, and it goes up one above you as well. So it's sort of like a uh, um, just a like a block of swirling radiant type of energy. All right, so minor, minor, minor. Are you still uh? Are you still affected? That's it. Still bloodied? Uh, no, I'm no longer bloodied. Alright. 
All right, so uh, Rons, what are you doing? You still got one of those heals left, I think. Um, no, I used it on uh, Kadojo, remember? Uh, can I? You know, you get two powers back. When you get a power back, when you get healing word back, you get to use it twice. When you get your power what? back, it. Yeah, you, you know, you didn't know that oh you get to use. Oh my god, I wouldn't have even picked resurgent strength the first time if I knew that. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Did you not read? Did you not read uh, your power card for that? I, I thought that it only gave me one charge of it back. That's so no, okay. it it gives well, you the cool. in, the entire encounter power back, which for you would give you two healing words. Okay. Um. I mean, you get the full power back. I mean, I've always said that. Can I shift on top of uh, Orga? Is he still prone? Sure, but he he won't be able to get up. Yeah, you can do that. What are you, you saying? I'm fat. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm saying that you're gonna straddle him and hump, hump his back. I am yeah, a dwarf, he, he is all. prone. So quick, teabag him. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, Vay's gonna. Vay's definitely I'm probably going gonna snipe that. A sunburst on the bugbear. All right. And I'm pretty sure that misses 11 versus AC. Uh, that is a miss. That's it for you. Um. I'll use a healing word on Morgath. All right, Morgas, take a surge. If you have any surges left, yep, you do. Surge plus three. All right, and I guess you're not blooded anymore. I would think that he wouldn't be. That shouldn't be bloodied anymore, Dave. All right, so let's see here. That is dead. All right, so now uh, the bugbear. Uh, I'm going to attack someone. And uh, that someone is going to be the mage. Please. I will do an immediate interrupt and attack him. Okay, give yourself even the, with the minus. Yeah, give yourself a minus five to hit because you got someone in your square as well. So I'm giving you a little bit extra of a, a penalty penalty for that. Okay, we'll just take five off of this. Sounds good. Uh, 17. Is that a hit? It might be. It is. Barely, but yeah. Well, not nice. barely, but you do hit him. 13 damage. <laughs> Alright. So now he knows that uh, you're up and he can uh, he can get you now. But he is uh, attacking uh, he is attacking uh, oof. 25 versus armor class on Kev Ward, which is it. Hit. All right. Ooh, man, this hit. Ooh, you're lucky I rolled a two and a one. You take a total of nine damage there, Kev Ward. Are you bloodied or are you okay? No, I'm okay. Can I just role play out this scene real quick? So the bear comes up, hits me with whatever weapon it's got. While it's there, all of a sudden you see the sword come out between my legs and stab him, this guy in the chest for a leg. <laughs> Is that a sword in your pocket or are you just happy to see the bugbear? Talk about show Are you happy to see Daddy Karash? <laughs> Alright, that's it for the uh, that's it for the bugbear. Uh, Amon, you're up now. Well, listen okay, to that fat uh, dog. My listen to that my attack, choice though. for the last one that the uh, group we do we get a do we get to choose? I again? yelled, "Shut up!" at the dog. No, they just bought surges. Never mind. Yeah, the, the yeah, last one last. was you got two healing surges back. I don't I don't know how damaged you were, but you should probably be close to full oh, life. Well, probably. I've, I've never I've never taken one point of damage yet. You did at the beginning, mm -hmm. so I healed you. Yeah, but not in this second group of encounters. 
Okay. I've been I've been okay back here. I'm yelling at the neighbor's right, uh, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna go after the bugbear. <laughs> okay. Feel free to go against him. Attack him, young Padawan. Twenty one versus armor. And that's a hit. Twelve damage. The bugbear slumps over dead. Woo! Your arrow strikes him right between the eyes. Uh, he starts to go into a light convulsion. He does the old fake Ric Flair, you know, fall on the mat when he would like <laughs> kind of do the, oh, and then just kind of fall backwards. Boom! Uh, and in but honor yes, of his Ric Flair. I turn sideways. <laughs> I step up on my tippy toes. I grab my crotch. And, Woohoo! Yes, he. uh she goes, Woo! Flare, man. And you hear the Woo! dragonborn whisper, Get off my back. Hang on, the fight isn't over yet. I do a little, uh, I do my little Michael Jackson. Woo! What happened Actually, to the skeleton? Did he just crumble yeah, or something? Yeah, the skeleton is still there. I mean, you're welcome to just kill him off. Oh! Yeah, uh, now go ahead. We'll, we'll finish this up real quick. Okay. His jaw drops, though, as he sees everyone dead. He goes, uh oh. <laughs> you know how a skeleton would do that? Uh oh. Like evil dead stuff. And the, red, and the red in his eyes starts spinning around in circles, and he's like, oh, in oh shit mode right now. So he he does, uh, he's still prone. All right, so Almond, you're done. Uh, Kev Ward, what are yeah. you doing? I'm going to move up to here, stick out my hand, and say, huh. This was barely a challenge in Magic Missile, that guy. For seven damage. <laughs> you knock the head of the skeleton right off, and it goes... <laughs> and bounces a couple times. Boink, 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 boink. And then the jaws just continually clacking. The skeleton is dead as well. On head. So you guys are out of combat. Guys, next time, don't do two encounters at one time. <laughs> Seriously. I didn't want to, man. I didn't I want to. Yeah, but we get double experience points. <laughs> I intend to call both rooms. All right, so Shaking real quick, triple. let me give you guys uh, your experience for this. Everybody gets 50 apiece. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody gets two seventy apiece, and that's two encounters in one. Tonight's raffle, guys, is a one-year subscription to Roll Twenty. One-year subscription. So that puts us at thirteen ninety-five, right? One-year subscription, that's guys. One year. Who is the high bidder right now? Yep, there should be someone who has fifty. Evan Thrax is uh. Evan's high bidder. Well, I'm going to stand up. Dave, before anything happens, I'm going to search through that pile and look for that damn box. Okay. So, as you guys start to come to, you guys can move your tokens wherever you'd like to. Uh, you go over to the, the table area, and you can start to see a... Uh, as you're moving the, the debris away, the wood, the other books, uh, you start to see a a green necrotic glow coming from a uh, a small wooden box. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's up, Morgas? I'm, I'm going to tell the guys, I'm like, dude, what are y'all doing? Come on, let's go back and fight that dragon while the fighting's good. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no, we are in no With shape this, to fight that thing. I just find you can go do that if he pleases. But <laughs> Is I, there I, a skeleton I'm good, that ran from us? Is there a what? I... I I missed it. Was there a skeleton that ran away from us? There was not. No. Nope. All okay. of them. The mage so just knocked the head off of the last skeleton. So okay. can I close? Can I close this door and bar it? Like, sure. So nothing get through. Okay. Let me uh let me remove the tracker. I would more than happily like to uh, shut this door for you. And I'm gonna come back over to this door and shut it up, lock it up too. All right. Voila. I'm gonna cast uh, Sun's Glow and on this you, sir. table. 
and this giant table in the middle of the room, sun flow. So we have a little bit more light. Okay. You want to cast it on which table? The... Okay. Sunrod down here. What's the uh, radius on that? How many squares? Uh, I believe it's five. <coughs> or, no, it's four squares. Of bright light? Yeah, bright light. Alright, there you go. Awesome. This is what you see. You see several tables. Uh, you, you do find the... You rummage through the, the table. Uh, there is... A small black box, Kevward. It has a uh, necrotic type of aura to it. You can tell that without even uh, doing any kind of magical arcane check or, or anything like that. Okay. And that's the only box I found? That's it. Oh, you're kid. Okay. I'm going to search the bodies. All right, so there are several items that you find. Uh, you're going to find... All right, on the bugbear, you find a set of chainmail, normal. Uh, oops, my bad. That was a... Uh, wrong. Uh, you find a suit of leather armor on the bugbear. You also see a beautiful two-handed axe that there is blood dripping off of the blades and, and he also has several hand axes now as for the the three goblins that were shooting their bows at you there are uh, several short bows leather armor as well uh, short swords and daggers so basically three of each of those uh, now, for the hulking zombie, nothing but a bunch of uh, putrid, stinking flesh. Same as for the skeletons, just three long swords, basically, and a couple shields. Uh, Malareth, on the other hand, he has uh, some robes, and he also has a staff with some kind of skull on the top of it with horns coming off of it. Mm. Motherfucker's got the headmaster's charge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Money-wise, you find a total of uh, around 225 gold. That's between everything. That is uh, all of the creatures in this room. <clears throat> That's 45 gold piece, everybody. Yeah, Bugbear, uh, Mao, and the goblins all had uh, all had uh, pouches. Uh, that's it for loot. Now, however, uh, there are lots of supplies, and, and a lot of the stuff was you know, basically on the corpses. However, you know, there is a, a room as well. The whole room that you have to inspect still. So, uh, what would you like to do? I want to take a look in this chest back here. Or was that the one that he looked in a minute ago? No, that chest has not been looked at. Alright, so you open up the chest. Yes. I the do. chest attacks you and, attacks, and attacks the paladin. Okay. You opened it up, you did not look. It was trapped with a burst uh, of fire, actually. I turn around and I just laugh and slap my knee. Uh, 28 versus reflex against the cleric. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a hit. Yeah, that obviously hits. <laughs> and a 16 versus reflex on the paladin. That's a hit. Alright, both of you take 21 fire damage. Oh. And you are 
on fire, taking five more per round until save ends. Can't help but just I'm, I'm like, I've dropped a 